How many y'all been with me since the motherfucking martyr? Make some noise. I can't hear you. If you don't have the martyr, you can go to viperrecords.com right now and get the martyr absolutely fucking for free. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Some motherfuckers looking at me like, what do you mean free? What I gotta do? Oh. You don't need to put no banner on your page. You don't need to put no personal information in there. Sign up to no fucking app that steals your personal information. You don't need to put your email address in. You don't need to sit through a 20 second Vivo commercial. You press one button and five minutes later, you got a six the Lord got all the revelongs on it. Yep. Almost. Okay. And we got Joel Ortiz. We got Styles P from the Locks. We got Brother Ali from Rob Sayers. Killer Mike. I love that dude, man. Hold on. How many of y'all been with me a little bit long and you got the third world? Thank you. For those of you that didn't know, we took a percentage of the proceeds from the third world and we used them to build an orphanage in a school in Kapla, Afghanistan. With no corporate funding, with no military aid, just the power of underground hip hop, the power of the people. Yeah. If you want to help out, please go to Obeyed International, O M E I D dot org, and see how you can help out too. I really appreciate that. How many of y'all been with me a little bit longer and you got the revolution? It's okay, you lie to yourself every fucking day. You probably didn't have it when it came out, but I don't care how you got it. I don't care if you burnt it off the internet, if you bought it fucking yesterday. Listen to me, I do not give a fuck if you stole it or you fell into someone's car and when it came out, it was accidentally in your fucking hands. I love y'all, it doesn't matter. It is the number one stolen independent album of all fucking time. Revolutionary volume one. Does that mean I can take y'all on a journey with me? I can't fucking hear you. Just don't say I didn't warn you. Thank 
school. Clippers eventually dropped out of school to sell weed. Dancing with the devil, smoking till his eyes would bleed. But he was sick of selling trees and gave it to his greed. And I gotta say, so Billy started robbing niggas, and he did get through. He'd get his respect back in the eyes of his crew. Started fights over little shit, up on the black. Stepped up the southern brothers, the brothers to crack rock. Working overtime, making money for the crack spot. Hit the jackpot, pull a tube of bucks and cocaine. Filling the Scarface fantasy, stuff in his brain. Tired of them hood niggas, treating them the same. He wanted to be major like the cutthroat to the thugs. But when he tried to step to him, niggas showed him no love. He told him any motherfucking coward can sell drugs. Nigga with a gun can bust up And he's nigga with a red shirt in front of him with blood Even Puffy smoked the motherfucker up in the club Only a real thug, the status of one till they die Standing in front of them, staring straight into their eyes Then they realized that these men were well guarded And they wanted to test him before business started Suggested raping a chick to prove he was cold-hearted Now we had a choice between going back to his life Or making money with main men up in his sight His dreams about cars and ice Slow while he was drinking, smoking, much drinking, and joking or entertainment. Till they saw a woman on the street walking along the three in the morning, coming back from work on her way home. So they quietly got out the car and followed her, walking through the projects. The dog just swallowed her. They wrapped the shirt around her head and knocked her onto the floor. This is it, kid. Now you got your chance to be raw. So Billy yoked her up and grabbed the chick by the hair, dragged her into a lobby that had no life there. Struggled hard, but they forced her to go up the stairs, got to the roof, and then they held her down. Yellow, shut the fuck up, stop moving around. The shirt covered the face, but she screamed the claw. Then he stomped on the bitch till they broke her jaw. The dirty bastards knew exactly what they were doing. They kicked her till they cracked the ribs and she stopped moving. Blood leaking through the claw, she cried solemnly. And then they all proceeded to rape her body. Billy was made to go first, but each of them took a turn. Ripping her up and choking her until it broke her. Broke a drum over the guard, but they weren't concerned. When they were done, she was lying, bloody broken and bruised. Because the devil wants to dance with you, you better say never. Because the dance with the devil might ask you. 